Mm. Mm. I think we're back now. Can we log in? Yes. I yeah. see us. 100 followers. Yes. So Success. exciting. Live. 100 followers. So exciting. Live. 100 followers. I can hear my echo over there. Is that normal? I put mute. Yeah, sorry. I was trying to listen. <laughs> to no, no, it's cool. so, And then, of course, you listen what <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> And then there's Echo. Oh, hello, El Suxo. Hi. Again. Hi. Thanks for being Where here. Where are you in the world? Where are you tuning in from? I feel like somewhere maybe Latin. El Suxo. L and in Tennessee, L. I ah, Hamburg. Latin. What? Hamburg. You're from oh. Hamburg? Do we know each other from meetups or so? <laughs> I mean, because I, I know some people from Hamburg. I mean, now with pandemic, no meetups, but before. What's your real name? El Suxo. Will he reveal his real name on the internet? Yeah, I wonder. I'm curious now. Nerd Disco, hey! Thanks. Awesome. Yes, we met once or twice. Who are you, El Sux? <laughs> so then I can put a face on your name, kind of. Because <laughs> right now it's blank. It's the name, yeah. Is it like that? Yeah, that's the same, right? Put a face in the name. Yeah. Do I'm going to open my door because it's, like, it's like hot enough that it's... Mm -hmm. It's all right. I didn't hear any sound before. I think it's very quiet. Okay, good. You don't have ca many cars, no, on your street? Usually I do, but this morning I woke up and I thought it was Sunday because there was so little noise. Uh, he says that you guys met at the Code Pen meetup. All right, yeah. Yeah, good, good to know. I still, but he won't reveal his name. All right. <laughs> There's like tons of people in that meetup, like 50, so... What a but mystery. Cool, cool, cool. Lars. Ah, oh, I know who you are then. Yes, thanks for revealing your name. Yeah, <laughs> now I can put the face on the name. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm so jealous you guys had code pen meetups. We never, I've never seen any in Paris, and I was too shy to try and organize my own. Yeah, I don't know if there's one in Paris either, but yeah, you could I start. So. I started the one here oh, <laughs> because there was did. nothing. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, but I didn't start it alone because um, I enjoy working with other people. So I asked two and, to that friends yeah. and yeah, it's it's nicer, at least for I me. I, I, I think there's people that like to work on their own. But for me, I enjoy um, to, to work with others. Yeah. That's the whole point anyway from meetups that I like that you get to share and learn from each other. So. Definitely. Definitely. Well, the, I mean, yeah, collaboration for me is like the cornerstone of my a pra practice, I guess, I could say that. Because mm -hmm. um, without it, I'm just in a room talking to myself, wondering about things. <laughs> and I like bouncing my ideas of other people. Mm -hmm. um, like, I learned so much just talking to you about code. So mm -hmm. it's nice to see how other people think about everything. Nerd Disco says, we even organized a code pen day. Yeah, we did. You also? In yeah, that, that's my friend, Tim. <clears throat> we uh, met yeah. because of our code pen love. And after I created the meetup, we, we did this little like conference thing for a day, which was cool. Cool. I like that. A one day conference, yeah. single track, one day conference. Yes. I love that. Yes. I love single tracks. I, that's like mm. my new favorite thing. I only Me want to too. go to single track conferences. I agree because when you have like <laughs> three or more options, it's so tough that so sometimes much. there's a, like two talks or three that you want to watch at the same time. Yeah. And then you have to split yourself and then me personally often say oh because if they put it online i say okay i will watch it later but that later one does never come so it's better that <laughs> yeah. it's i'm there when i'm live so um yeah. just like you, yeah, I, plus I, if I, you're if you have to choose between two that you really love then you've got fomo about the other mm -hmm. while you're in the the one that you pick so you can't really enjoy either of them fully true yeah <clears throat> yeah no good yeah yeah i love the yeah he said the yeah, it's the same kind of like in festivals um, of music, I was thinking, which yeah. I miss. Um, I miss festivals you, too. You have tons of stages and oh, that always breaks my heart when there are two bands playing at the same time and you have to run yeah. around as well, but, <clears throat> oh, yeah. but it's a festival. I, I was really, 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 really lucky in 2019, I got to go to Coachella and I was like expecting that it would be like this insane magical experience and it was pretty... Mm -hmm. magical and definitely insane but 
like the even despite the space being so big mm -hmm. there were so many acts playing at the same time mm -hmm. that the noise would just cancel like each other out like i could mm -hmm. hear tame impala playing while billy eilish was on stage and it just made no sense oh, <laughs> so wow. like even if you wanted to be in the moment unless you were like at the very front mm -hmm. in the pit there was no way that you could really engage with the music so single track music festivals all the way <laughs> yeah i agree <laughs> <laughs> I agree, yeah. but sometimes the the cool bands, I guess, they go to these big festivals, kind of like Coachella. I never was in Coachella when I lived in California, um, but uh, it sounds that I always hear good things about it. It's pretty crazy. I will say though, having lived in Europe for so long, I was like shocked that you that there was like a because uh, it's an all ages festival, so mm -hmm. there's a section where you can go to drink, but it's mm -hmm. not near any of the music, so it's like. What? Very strange. Yeah, like you can't have beer or a oh, drink. Oh, because it's the states, the of course. They're very like. Crazy but marijuana is legal, so you can smoke a joint <laughs> while you're listening to your music. It just makes no sense. <laughs> like I get it, and like yeah, it made yeah, for yeah. a very clean festival yeah. ground, but it yeah, was confusing. I forgot. I forgot about that. Because when I lived in Santa Cruz, it was the same thing. Like everybody was smoking weed. Of like, even like as of. 4 p.m. Fridays and it was very very normal people growing weed and then if you were like into drinking a beer not even like getting super drunk on the beach just like oh, people give a, you a side eye <laughs> no the cops would come and they would like oh, really? the, it happened yeah. to us once like we were sneaking some beers and we would thought like oh just like and then the cops came and they wanted to take us and oh god and I was like oh my god we're like already like over age it's just a beer and I forgot how surprised so, I was when I first came to Europe and people in Spain, I remember going for San Fermin and like people were drinking in the streets and I was like, what? This is like, what? My brain like couldn't compute. Um, so yeah, I totally, yeah. I remember being a teenager now and brown bagging in the park and the cops would come and they would empty our beers into the grass and we'd be so pissed, but they wouldn't give us a ticket so we'd be happy. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have to. I have to. I was ready if somebody <coughs> has something to say. Cool. So nice memories of um, non-pandemic worlds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast this morning that was saying that to get to herd uh, immune, herd immune, I don't know, herd immunity, mm -hmm. uh, 80% mm -hmm. of the population has to be vaccinated. Mm -hmm. But but people aren't counting for the like 25 to 30% of the population that are children. <laughs> yeah, it's so, gonna take some time. I, I feel. <laughs> I think I think it's ambitious to think by this summer mm. it'll be taken care. But I don't want to. I don't want to hijack this stream and turn it into a COVID discussion because we don't want to. Yeah, true. We don't want to focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to be today, positive. <laughs> today we were thinking of continuing with noise. If you were here last week, we played with mm. some noise. We've been playing with noise for two weeks. Um, But I think we can go further with it. We we got we got a wiggly, wobbly outline of a circle last week, and we implemented a for loop, which should be very simple if you've coded before. But in shaders, it was actually pretty tricky. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. On my own time, I, I played around with clamp to kind of constrain the colors within the bounds of the w wiggly, wobbly circle. But I didn't add that to the project yet. So I don't know what you feel like doing today. I Did felt we, like you should show us this clamp trick. The clamp? Ooh, yeah, okay. that would be great. Like, we can, for example, add a simple shape uh, mm -hmm. first, and then you can show us how to implement a uh, clamp on it so that uh, we learn <laughs> your face. <laughs> I, hope I, can, I hope I can do it. Clamp. And then in that like, way, you will learn it like really good because you have to explain it to us. And then yeah. we, we can, like, you know, so. I'm nervous now. <laughs> I, I, don't reason I, I, I think because I think we would have to do it with an outline. Yeah, which okay. uh, we have from the last time. We so. do. Yeah, we do. We do have that from last time. Yeah. First um, of all, I actually as well wanted uh, to, why don't we use the square function that you shared with me the last time? Because I didn't have time to play with shaders this week. Okay. So, which, which is a perfect lead up to my usual promo and I will continue to promo because mm -hmm. they're still on sale y'all they're finally on sale um, these cards that you everyone's always asking me about Patricio um, 
Gonzalez Vivo, who made the Book of Shaders, which we love and bow down to um, and use every day, made these amazing cards that have a pattern on one side and the code for the pattern on the other side. And uh, he only like reprints these every couple of years. I was really lucky a couple of years ago, he came to Paris for a conference and I got to get mine. And I think that there are still some on sale on the website, but once they sell out, they're gone. So if you go to Pixel Spirit, Pixel Spirit Shader Deck, Pixel, Pixel Spirit Deck. Can you see that? Is that in focus? Pixel Spirit, oh, it's backwards, my bad. Pixel Spirit Deck. Anyways, if you Google it, you'll find it. If you look at Book of Shaders, you'll also find it. And we're going to use, why am I saying this right now? Yes, well, I'm also wait, waiting for that. <laughs> Patricio is my friend, but also because I'm trying to find, where is it? Where is the square? The square function that I use. Ah, oh, you got it from the cards. I got it from the cards. Ah, okay. Sorry, that was a very long-winded intro. <laughs> All I wanted to say was you guys can get the cards. People are always asking, but let me find the cube square. Where I'm going to show them on the screen what we did the last time, just because yeah. Lars asked about it. Um, so there you can see uh, we were exploring yeah. how to do wi wiggly um, things and we had yeah. a circle, an outline, and thanks to Mimetic, who I'm not sure if he's here today. I don't know um, if he's here today. He I was talking us. to him earlier. Yeah, so he helped us to, to figure out the function to do it and then uh, now we can apply it to any geometry and uh, yeah, and we were trying to do several circles. And, so that's it. And, and the gradient that you see in the outline is what we were trying to do. Um, but now Eliza figured out with clamp is nicer. Um, because I'm, yeah. when we were working on this one, the last stream, you can see a little bit of a shade of uh, pink to the right. Probably in the stream you, camera, you have us. I think our camera, our camera, our camera. Yeah, our, our view of us covers it. Yeah. Of, so I'm afraid so, right but uh, yeah, there's something there that we didn't want to have. So. Yeah, and so basically we were tweaking the numbers so that we could have both the gradient and not have it spilling out from the top right corner, but that meant that we couldn't play around as much as we wanted to with the gradient inside the circles. And so I was playing uh, with the concepts we used last week on my own time this week, and it occurred to me that clamp, um, which I think we use, in fact, I think I use that generally to make a circle. No, to make a line, sorry. To make a stroke, I use clamp. And I realized that clamp is basically like, if you've ever used P5JS and you're familiar with the map function, it's the same idea. So you can take, but instead of taking two values and turning like between zero and one, mapping that to to be between like zero and 100, you'll just take a number, whatever that number is, if it's like 100 or 200, and you'll say, make that equivalent to its position, but between a very specific ratio. So like between zero and one. So if it's like 15 and you put clamp zero and 100, it'll be like, does that make sense? I don't know if I'm explaining that properly, but it's basically like math. <laughs> That's why I want us to do it. So then it's going to yeah, be easier when sense. you have a visual. Okay. But uh... yeah, of course. That's what we're here for. Um, OK. So first things first. We have, do people see, you're still showing, I think my phone has latency. I don't know what people can see right now. Can they see the screen, or are they still looking at the wiggly circles? Oh, I just switched it. Oh. OK, cool. Um, so at the top here of the function of the HTML file area, we have a function for a circle. Um, and I'm going to add below it a similar function for a rectangle. Or I guess that should be df because we learned that it's a distance function and not a sign function. Um, that's in Ray Marching, no? Oh, scientists. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then we're going to say return zero for now. Um, our rect function is going to take, let's see, it takes a UV, 
So what is a UV? The UV is the XY position of every pixel that we get back from the position we give in our fractal shader. Fractal shader? Mm, I don't know. Is it going to be fractal? Saying? No, I'm not talking about fractals. Uh, I'm having a blank. I said fractal shaders. I meant um, <laughs> pixel shader. Sorry. Oh. Um, you take the UV and you take uh, S, which I think is size in my memory. So UV equals. UV. Wait a second, you're missing in the vector. Is it a vector two or is it a floating number? Oh, thank you. Like two. Okay. Uh, UV times two. This is like a part of the function that I'm not sure that I fully follow, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with the positioning of the rectangle. Um, and then here we take the max value of the absolute, which we learned about last week, uh, which do you remember what absolute does? It's like a, and please somebody correct me if I'm saying wrong, but I think the last time Mario agree with what I said, that it's a, a, like a positive numbers. So if you have a minus one and you take the absolute of that, that would be a positive one. So, which means that in shader world, if you're like in a positive one, you are going towards white. Yes. Right? So because yes. zero would be black, uh, zero, zero, mm -hmm. zero, kind of like hex values. Um, uh, and yeah, if you so do one, uh, one, one, one in RGB world, like hundred, hundred, hundred is black. Why didn't, oh, I was just trying to show people that by putting one in, okay, so yeah. Wait, so you I just put one you, in. You just the, delete it. No, I, I put one in. No, but you delete, okay. deleted the function. Yeah, because I thought it was the reason the screen was still black. Oh, because okay. I was testing here. I'll just comment it out for now. Yeah. I wanted to test oh, okay. this. All right. Is the background be white right now? Uh, because we have a C in the frac color. It should say oh, color. So. <laughs> oh, yes. I was typing at the same time as you. <laughs> cool. Now so, it should be. Now you can type. Yeah, yeah it's white. white. Yeah. Cool. So that, if you guys can see, is here. We put one. And if you just put one number in a vector, it you know will do the math the math for you and make it one one one. Um, yeah. Oh, which by the way, I realized that I said it wrong because I said a hundred um, hundred hundred RGB is black. No, it's white. Sorry, my mistake. Oh, sometimes when I speak, it's like uh, because one point zero in this sense means that it's a hundred percent red, hundred percent like in each of the values, like that equals one dot then comma one dot then comma one dot mm -hmm. and that that makes white not black as i said just like a few seconds ago yeah yeah perfect okay so now let me see what's wrong with my function because if it turns the screen black maybe there's nothing wrong with my function nope okay i wrote it right so mm -hmm. you're getting the max value of the absolute values of of the <laughs> uv dot x divided by the size. S is a, a placeholder for the size. So let's see if we can do color plus equals rect df, and then we give it the UV and we say 0.5. What will that do? Create a rectangle, but I don't see anything. Uh, try to layer it up um, with uh, multiplying instead of plus. Oh yeah, good call. I always, I always, still now, even though that's like... Mm, mm, I still don't see anything. Mm. 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 Why isn't that working? I feel like that should... Oh, I know why. Could I, I forget it? Because the point 0.5 should be a vector 2. You have it in your function. <gasps> Thank it's, you. And that's a floating number, so... Types, man. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I was gonna say. For me, shaders still like I cannot be as quick, but uh, I noticed that. Um, yeah, it could be that it's too big because it was all white or too small. Maybe I need to make it black again. Um, yes. 
Okay. <laughs> Our teeny oh, tiny sorry. square. Hmm? Uh, okay. So this is, let me make it a bit bigger. This is like, again, the reason that it's like a gradient towards the inside is because it's changing the color of the pixel all the way in towards the center point. Um, so if you wanted to make it an actual cube, we can do Stop. a load rect equals that. And then you can do um, color plus equals. And we can use, oh wait, no, I think I need to bring in my, my other function that uses clamp, actually. Let me grab the card because I don't mm -hmm. remember it off the top of my head anymore. I used to know these by heart. I used to... That's but wait, I think uh, you were on the way, like, um, let me try we something. Can use step. We could I, try and use step. I think you can, like, I'm, I'm typing just to try it real yeah, quick, right? Course. So I think with step, um, you can manage to do a solid um, rectangle. A rectangle. Right. But Ooh, wait a second, because I need to add it. <laughs> yeah, there, there it is. Yay, our full Just square. Between. So, and maybe one part. is better. Right on the top. Yeah, so oh, yeah. that manages the size. But yeah, I just love stuff because when you have gradient and you want to get rid of it, for me, in my brain now, it's like, okay, now then we have to just do step on the... It's good to create a function of your gradient thing that it's mm -hmm. on the right and then on the left side there's the value of kind of how big you want that uh, geometry most likely uh, that you have uh, yeah it's the value that i guess you're checking against right so if, if the uv if like the positions in rect are on to the are greater than one or mm -hmm. one or greater then they're going to be white and if it's less than one it's going to be black mm -hmm. So yeah, and it, and it creates that hard line. And if you want it to be smoother, you can use smooth step, but we won't get into that today. But then you can add a value that creates a, a very thin gradient and you can play around with how big you want that to be. But okay, so now we have like a full on square. What if you want just the outline of the square? I'm gonna create one more function outside of our main function called stroke. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a lovely first example of how to use clamp, actually. So that works out nicely. Stroke um, basically creates like a stroke. Um, and you're going to take an x value. Um, you're going to take a size. And you're going to take a width. I'll be back. I'm going to put my hoodie in. I'm cold. you cold? Yeah, OK. Um, and then we're going to create a variable to contain uh, the result of this, where we use step. So now that we know what step does, right, it checks the position of um, a value against what we put in that first position. So we're going to do x plus width um, minus, oops. We're always checking against the size, um, x minus width. And I think I've always seen it. We multiply by 0.5 just to like control the size, I guess. And then here, yeah, we're using clamp. So now whatever we get back from, like whatever D contains, we're going to make sure that it plays within the following spaces. It plays between the zero and the one space. And it, it will never go further or lower than zero and one. So I want to uh, say something there just because you're you a native. No, no? You're, you're a native English speaker. So probably when you heard clamp, it kind of makes sense in your brain. Ah, but that's yes. an, uh, one thing I wanted to say for me, for example, in JavaScript, I or even in CSS now there's clamp and and for me I'm not a native English speaker so and yeah. it's a word that probably I don't use in when I speak English often that I wasn't sure what like the meaning like it doesn't say anything to me right like just the word so it took me 
a while to kind of grasp like what the function does just because the the word is like la 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 for me no the gibberish <laughs> it's just like okay clown look and then i went the other day to the dictionary because i was like okay what the fuck does that mean in english so maybe because probably it makes sense that they named this function in all of these languages like that and then i i i was able to then digest better the function as I understood the meaning for people that maybe is not English um, native speaker that uh, I've I found that is uh, a brace a band uh, to keep things hold them together yeah, it really everything. or to to have like brackets so uh, yeah and then I was well, like that's how I think of it like if I think of a clamp when I think of clamp I think of like clamping something down like you put a clamp on two pieces of wood to hold them together mm -hmm. when you're doing construction. I don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> what mm -hmm. comes to mind. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. But I admit there are some some words sometimes for function, even as a native English speaker, which represent one thing for me and, uh, yeah, get a response from me that leaves me very confused, especially if they're very mathy names. But clamp for me was a fun one because in contrast to like abs for example what is what is abs and then yeah. you tell me it yeah that one doesn't value. tell you much but <laughs> that means. Yeah. yeah but clamp um, is really like from the dictionary and it makes mm -hmm. sense um, yeah so virtually <laughs> yeah i mean i guess absolute makes sense too if you understand mm -hmm. like math nomenclature but absolute for me just means like it's absolutely beautiful out today I, mm -hmm. you know <laughs> it's mm -hmm. the truth but like i don't know how to apply that to pixels mm -hmm. um okay but we can use stroke here now to uh create an outline of oh, of our cube so down. that it looks more like this without the dot in the middle um so what am i gonna do i'm gonna take uh, 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 uh color and i'm gonna do plus equals I'm going to take this out for now. Mm -hmm. Let's equal step, or stroke, sorry. And we're going to stroke the rect, and we're going to make it, the size will be 0.5, and the width of the outline will be 0.125. And let's see if that works. Mm -hmm. Hey, a teeny tiny square. Maybe we can make it bigger. Um, Yes. Mm -hmm. Do we want it even bigger? So small. Okay. Do we want to try and make it wiggly? Mm, yeah, but before we do that, I actually wanted to show them, uh, like the last time, that there's another way to make an outline. <laughs> I just oh, love yeah. to show like yeah, the, yeah. the two different ways, because maybe it, it, yeah. I felt like this time we were faster, you were faster explaining the stroke function uh, with clamp, and now I get yeah. more uh, how Who did you learn your way from? From Bruno Simon, uh, Bruno, yeah. Bruno Simon, uh, probably I'm saying it <laughs> not with the. Sometimes the... watching, but I guess he's not watching. Too. Um, yeah, maybe he's watching. I don't know, but yeah, go check out his course. By the way, I keep uh, making promotion for him, but it's so yeah. good. Like really, it's like so good. to learn three JS and shaders tips even. So I'm excited. I I have it. I haven't started it yet, but I, it's like waiting for me, taunting me. Yeah, um, but when once you're ready, you're. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you will finish that one soon because oh, it, yeah. it blends this likings of developing and doing aesthetically nice exercise, which is yeah. very inspiring. If you are a person that enjoy uh, doing something aesthetically, just because I know that there are developers that they don't care maybe about the aesthetics more, they care more about the language like oh, coding. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. but uh, yeah, he, he brings these two worlds. So that's why I really enjoy that uh, course. I'm um, excited for all the best practices, honestly, because if you even just go on his website or the course website, it's so smooth on mobile, even on a shitty mobile, because I checked, <laughs> it's so mm -hmm. smooth. And I was like, how did you do that? I had trouble getting just like a, a bubble, a shader bubble to not jank on my old iPhone 6 two years ago. So I'm like really, really excited to mm -hmm. all of his secrets that he so generously packaged for us. Mm -hmm. um, but so let's, let's see how you do it. Oh, you use abs. See, this is why last week I was like, I don't know what abs means. So this is not yeah, clear for but me, but uh, now it makes more sense. 
But hold on a second because um, I'm watching what we did last time because I I don't know it by heart, but I know that we did it differently the last time. So we open. I might need to. Uh, I actually will have to go and check his lesson again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Da -da -da, share their lesson. Shaders. Here we are. It's okay. It's fine. I mean, I was definitely using the cards. That's, that's what I was going to say. During last summer, I would like cycle through the first 20 of the cards. Uh, mm -hmm. and, I, and I knew, like, I was practicing every day. It was like shader yoga or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my brain started to internalize a little bit of what they meant, but now I can't remember the whole functions as well. But mm -hmm. the way that the, yeah, the functions that he writes on the cards, yeah. But then the functions that he uses in the other functions he creates in the cards, like the GLSL functions, I have a way better understanding of of how they how they work and can be paired together, which is why I had the idea last week about using clamp to keep the color mm. within the shape, which we'll, we'll get to. I keep, I keep jumping too far ahead. Um, mm -hmm. I think I, let me check my notes, because I think I have an implementation of an outline with abs from another I friend as well. Yeah, I found it now. Um, I'm just trying to digest it. That's why I wanted to practice more, because when I do my own shaders, I don't do outlines of shapes, so it's not on my rim, but I want to learn. That it gets stuck so totally. the absolute was right but we have to use it's similar to yours because you are he's using a max function here yeah uh, mm -hmm. i think he, you guys use abs just mm -hmm. instead of two step functions you don't track one from the da, other da, da, da. oh but wait uh this is where i got confused hold on i'm gonna go back And I'm gonna bring this thing. Um, and then I'm gonna do color. Uh, equals. if that brings something up because we're still oh hold on we're using a uv because i brought this from him <laughs> um, okay so we have it's only the square and to make it outline is da, 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 da. Are, you sh are you sure that it's a to outline uh, yeah, I it's have it down. supposedly, yes. Because mm -hmm. didn't but, we use this last week to create a sphere, or a circle, sorry, not a sphere, but did we do an outline of a sphere like this? That's why I'm like trying to, but it's, okay. but it's here, so I'm thinking. Let me check my notes. Yeah, look on your notes, because now. Shader examples. Because um, oh, my friend, I told you about my mathematician friend who I mm -hmm. used to shave and his head exploded. <laughs> and he was like, this is so cool. And he started playing around with them and he made me this like lovely crib sheet basically um, where he explains all of the things. And I'm pretty sure at some point when we get to it, smooth step. No, does he do it? Maybe he doesn't do it. He has outlines, he explains ways. Ah, yes. Um, oh no, he uses the same technique I used. He uses a step minus step. Sorry. Okay, let me. I'm still looking at this other thing that we did the last time because. How did we manage? Oh, uh, let me look at let me look at our last pen too. I'll open mm. it. Because um, it's somewhere there in the comments. Let's see. I know that it's with absolute. 
Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try to understand it. So, strokes mm. of mm. Ah, is it? Is it? Where are you? There you are. I'm going to put it under you. Mm -hmm. Comment it out. Is it that one? No. Yeah, there's an abs in there. Mm -hmm. Is it with uh, a that's step what, function? Th that's the one that I tried before, but it wasn't really like... Uh, yeah, I mean, look, we can try that again, but it wasn't working. So... Does it make just like a regular square? Yeah, because if we say again, here square, and then we use the uh, rect, uh, what is it called, df? Yeah. Um, so actually it's rect, uh, and then do rect, and then, yeah. Oh, we have two rects, sorry, I have to comment one. At the top, um, what is happening? Why isn't it working? Um, maybe we don't need the minus right now? Mm -hmm. We can do... Wait, okay, wait, let's take off abs it's again. No, it's again the, the vector 2. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there okay. it is. And then there was a minus here, right? Yeah, yeah. minus 0. 0.45, I think. Maybe that was it. Uh, nothing happens, actually. No. Wait, we oh, it was outside, happen? outside the function. Yeah, it was outside. And there. And still nothing is. <laughs> mm, I'm sad. <laughs> and so without funny. that... Wait, does it work without the apps? Let's see if we can get it to work without the apps. No, it was working with the apps, actually. So. At that point, so now we have a cube. Yeah. Now we don't have a cube. Why did we lose the cube? Wait, it was there for a second. For like a half second, it was right there. <laughs> did you delete it? Uh, no. Oh, no. maybe you were missing a yeah one of those. Yeah, now it's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, if we wrap that up in an absolute, mm -hmm. and we add a bracket, a lot of brackets. Yeah. What happened? And then okay. at a minus, I don't know, five or something. Yeah. That and then it just gets bigger. only makes it bigger. And then, um, but hold this on. This value is also way smaller, though. Mm hmm. It only makes it. Mm -mm. I cannot get it now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I last week happened. when we did it with the circle it was easier and now with the square but he has example with the square so uh, with an outline of the square uh, yeah he has in the examples an outline of a square and I brought the code in that he uses so that's why I'm like why is not working I'm so confused I'm I'm like in my mind this approach we used to just make a regular circle and not an outline but now I'm really mm -hmm. curious because if his demo has an outline how does he use abs as an outline? Abs is... Because he uses max on the outside too, which is similar, oh. for example, uh, where did you have yours? Um, it's kind of similar to the rect function in a way, because he uses mm. max, as you see, and then he takes the absolute of uh, one of the coordinates and then the other one. And But somehow I wasn't, when I, like if I comment what I took from, I don't know why it's not taking in. Um, for example, there, there we are. Strength, and then we're gonna see like nothing, actually blackness. Wait a second, because we saw a square before. Do you know? Or we didn't. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, um, hold on. I copy pasting again. One more time. We have the absolute of one thing and the other thing, and we have two values. Instead, it's two values. 
So. Okay, so you get, yeah, that's super close to what I did. Mm -hmm. So that's why what I got, but wait a second, we, we still don't see anything on our screen, do we? No, I don't have anything, I just have black. Okay, oh, there is something. I swear. Okay, yes, Exciting. but it's not with the outline somehow for us. Okay, so what in his demo are we missing? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he the way the UV is declared because he declared the UV differently. So I'm assuming maybe this number has to be either smaller or bigger since we declared the UV differently because that could be ah uh, that only moving the Position. so maybe the size here. Um, no, that's only growing. So this is actually just creating the square. Mm -hmm. But so how on earth did you outline it, Bruno? Hold on. I take this. Mm. And then Julie again. Julie again. Ah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, ah, now I get great. it. Damn it. But uh, yeah, sometimes that it takes sense. me a while to digest it. That makes sense if you look at the, the function that I, I brought in as well, because you are you need to use individually both the X and Y value. Yeah, thanks for your patience. And I'm glad that I redid this because now I get how he did the outline. So first of all, he created a square here in this or a rect. I'm gonna call it rect. Yeah. Um, just so that it's I similar mean, to, yeah. to our. And since he's not using a function like you did, because you created this like rect df function, right? So mm -hmm. with the max yeah. maps. It's so, just right in there in the code. Yeah. Uh, he makes the rectangle just with the step function, but he's using max and an absolute of the two coordinates, kind of like you, because you're using as well like a max and then you have the absolute of two coordinates, but the coordinates, like the mathematic of the two coordinates is a little bit different. Yeah. So. Well, I guess you have hard coded 0.5 and I send it in as a variable and then mm -hmm. the, oh yeah, my thing doesn't use step. That's the only difference. Yeah, exactly. And what I realized is for example, okay, this function was to create the rectangle first and then to create the outline, what he's doing is that then he layers up in this rect function because the multiplication is the layering up right so then he's yeah. layering up um hold on let me comment this other one actually we we said that in a few streams without explaining it yeah. i mean we used to explain it but the so if you add things in shaders it's basically like adding like if we talk about colors you're going to be adding the two color values together so it'll probably get brighter or if you subtract it'll get darker but if you multiply, it's like if you've ever like multiplied, like fused two screens of visuals together in Photoshop, it becomes like burnt together. That's kind of how it works here. Yeah. So well. he's layering up this, um, just to finish up this other uh, rectangle. Yeah. So we can see here, for example, if I'm just breaking the function so, to, so it's more readable. So he basically created another one but in like in the other color and smaller. So then you have an outline because I assume that if I remove this 1.0, we won't see the difference because it's going to be the same color. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, do you, do, do you get the Because this just make my head to click as opposed to the last time that we were wondering why do we get this like negative, you know, the colors change. Yeah. The background is black we, okay. because in the layer, you want the colors to flip in order for this second rectangle to actually like be on top and then create the illusion of an outline. Interesting. You see? So, okay. so it's a different way to see it. It was, it's more like ob art, I would say, because it's actually yeah. two squares Ooh. in there, but they are making the illusion that you have an outline. So okay, we need to put a pin in this for when we try to do the, um, the thing that we talked about. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah, because it, this is kind of like that. This is like, uh, yeah. yeah. Do you want to copy the code? 
Yes, I'm gonna copy Do it. Do that because because then we we should go back to your function because in a way it was more organized taking your rec function and then uh, as we were like iterating. But you can take this one and we can explore it like maybe Let's later. Just make a new pen for the future moire. I don't know if you guys know what moire is, but it's like my favorite technique. Um, it's like you, where you superimpose. I have a book actually I can show you. And I yeah, think Alicia has the same book. Yeah, I bought it after you show it like the, I think it was the second session. I have, I have two. I'm just missing the third one, but it's basically like. It's very um, cool. Where did my little page go? Yeah. So you can like. I don't know if this translates across a webcam very well. I don't think so well. Mm -mm. <laughs> you have to so basically, you pull, you pull the. Maybe I need a better one, but you can pull the, I don't know. Can you guys see that? You can kind of see it moving. Mm, I think you have to get closer because you can, I can only see like the black thing. Yeah. Now it's a bit better because yeah. I can see. Okay. Yeah. So you a bit put better. two patterns on top of each other and um, it creates an animation. So that technique that you just talked us through would actually be great for that. Um, okay, so I have it saved. Did I save it? Yes, I did save it. And now we can go back to what we were doing before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna comment this and bring it to the bottom if we want yeah. to reuse it later, but I'm just gonna comment okay. it here at the bottom. Um, so that we can go back to the way that you had it. So yeah. that was the cast, that was like the example of the pixels mm -hmm. changing color toward the center. And then we redid that same idea where we, we clamped it within certain boundaries mm -hmm. here. And now we should have a cube. No, the boundaries were below. That was the test trying to understand. <laughs> right. But we need rec. We need to keep rec. Yeah, you have to keep um, rec. And then you put the boundaries in the stroke. So, which cool. That's why I wanted to keep that oh, one because... What is um, happening? I'm so confused. Um, <laughs> oh, the um, step we need to here. I think we were missing the step here. Do we need a step? Yeah, because it's gradienting. Or? I don't think so. I think we have rec twice. Um, hold on a second. Okay. We have rec. Oh, it's this part, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. right. Well, that's, that's with the, so you keep yeah. adding, when you add together, you keep um, combining everything. So now we have okay. the outline of a cube. Um, okay, do you feel like implementing your favorite function mix? Uh, yeah, we could totally the, do that. Yeah. What? We can yeah. try and do that. You use clamp, and then if we get that working, we can try and implement some noise, maybe make a wiggly square. Yeah, because I wanted uh, us to try using clamp to yeah. put color in it. Colors. So, yeah. And so then I if you, yeah, if you want to do mix, I'm sure that trying to add the colors right now will be. So I'm, let's create some colors. I'm gonna do that here below the color, a C1, mm -hmm. and uh, just. I don't know, create a, a color. I think this is purple. Um, RGB. Um, yes, it's purple. And then we can. I was working with green this week, which I don't normally do. So let's let's also mm -hmm. take a green color. Green colors. I like uh, it. That would be zero fifty zero. So, of course, it makes sense only. Let me check my my other pen just to make sure I remember how to do it. How to and do what I'm doing. And then we can add the color mm -hmm. here. So we can say color. Um, equals mix. Ah, cool. Okay. And then I think I see see how one. That. C2 and uh, color. And we should have some colors now. Um, yay. 
<laughs> very, mm. very odd. Uh, let me put them the oh, other way. Oh, very 80s colors. These are like my favorite. When I was a kid, yellow is my favorite color because it's like the happiest color in the world. But these are the yeah. two colors that I would um, often draw a color with, basically. Okay. I don't know why, but I love the contrast. Mm -hmm. I think the green needs to be a little bit more you? greenish. Oh, I know what I did. Yeah, it's turquoise because I forgot I put like um, a point five. Yeah, but the turquoise wasn't so bad, I guess. Uh, no, I like the turquoise. Maybe we can go um, turquoise a little bit. Maybe a little bit more, seventy-five. Mm, that's too or much. Blue, blue or What's the that? green burns the eyes a bit, but blue or yeah, turquoise, I think. That's what I was thinking. Maybe, yeah, maybe seventy-five. It's okay because it was just too. That's what I was feeling in my eyes, like, I don't want to blind people. <laughs> Why does Especially it like if we animate it. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, okay. I want to get another shade of purple, but uh, let me try something here. And then... Yeah, exactly. So I want it. Uh, yeah, that's more nicer. Yeah, that kind of purple. And then maybe... Maybe the green it will look better now. I don't know. Um, yeah. Kind of, I guess, right? Uh. Yeah, that works. So okay, and so if we wanted to, if I replace color here with um, sign you time, what happens? Well, first of all, yeah, that's what, what I was gonna say because. Where did the cube go? Because you can see here, I was saying color equals. So, oh, right. so I'm kind of this color that was here. I'm kind of saying, do not look at that because uh, the last line of code uh, is like the winner, kind of like you're overwriting. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you have to, if you want to add scene, I would say you have to either um, mm -hmm. do plus scene time or multiply it. Um, what if I do? What if I do a flow, it's a flow, right? No, no, it's a vector. Uh, yeah, it's a vector, my bad. It's a vector. If I call it gradient, uh -huh. equals this. And then if I come out this for a second, and I, what am I doing? And I do, or no, I guess I can leave this for now. We can still have that, but then in here, here I can put, what am I doing? I'm totally confusing myself, my bad. Hold on. I copied it's, the wrong thing. <laughs> it's just because um, stroke. I think to copy this. Stroke is a float. I think that was a problem. Type three gradient or, equals, I was trying to do this, actually. Oh no, stroke is a big three, you're right, sorry. Equals uh, this, and then I wanted to add sign you oops time and then i wanted to use okay wait i'm just looking at my thing see how i did this again last week mm -hmm, make sure mm -hmm, i don't mm -hmm. tell you the wrong thing um i think this should be up Color plus equals clamp. And then I want to mm -hmm. clamp the gradient. Ah, mm -hmm. The gradient, gradient between 0, 0.0 and 1.0. And how did I do that? And then um, I did, I think I did one minus. I think but it's still not I keeping it because in the cube, I need I need to comment this I think so that you only have the gradient in the right and then I can take off the one minus but this is how I implemented it in. I think it should work now mm, but it's not working um, it's in the outside it seems like instead of being inside the stroke yeah it's like in the in the outside I mean it's clamped in the outside at least it's not longer 
you see the difference before we had like the green in the outline and the purple in the background and right now you created a gradient yes that it's animated oh. and you clamp it in the background yes okay wait so then maybe before i do this how do we get the before i do that now because i forget i'm looking at my oh mario's here. here hello mario good mario, morning make it. Hey. yay oh. <laughs> so for my people, people are, are quiet today, but you can definitely mod if you feel like it. Thank you for coming. What time is it for you right now? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, I noticed that too, that people it are quiet, but feel free to like comment today. if you like anything yeah, that we're doing, good. if you want us to try like anything. Um, um, thanks for waking up, Mario, because it's early. Not even 7 a.m. That is probably. crazy. Probably. So thanks. Always appreciated. Um, 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 um. Okay, so wait. Let me... Let me, let me. I think if you want to put it in the stroke, it's just an idea that uh, the gradient that you created is good. Like this, um, yeah, Did this mix. Comment it out? Oh no, the back three, yeah. That is good, but probably the clamping needs to be applied somewhere to the stroke. I don't think so. Well, that's no? the thing. I was looking at how I, I applied it in my project mm -hmm. and I really just did uh, what I did to show you. But then I did it, so this is how I did it. I'm gonna po post it as a comment so that mm -hmm. you can see. Um, here. Okay. How do I, can I do that? Yeah. So I created the gradient and then I clamped it and then I plus the, oh, okay. Maybe I, I need to anything. do that. And then color, oops, color plus equals rect. I don't think that that will work, but that's... Ah, now I... optical illusion again. Oh, okay. Optical illusion. So we have... Okay, similar. Yeah. This is similar to what Bruno was way. doing, you know? Yeah. Playing with the optical illusion of like, bringing again, like something. Well, not not the same, sorry, because you're, with plus you're adding it in the in what you have instead of layering it up, actually. So it's, you're totally. adding... Um, this thing there oh and then I did here that's the other thing that I did basically I was because I was like Alicia always does one minus what will do what will happen if I do that it's just like the it right, this, this it's stroke. like a negative mm -hmm. I like to see it as a negative like in photography yeah but it's still so to me what's funny with the gradient behavior right now is that it's it's acting on the size let me try something yeah here maybe multiply what what happens if you layer it up instead like this optical illusion thing i think okay. it and here hold on i wonder here what happens if we layer it up instead of like adding it to the color oh, you're doing... oh, there there I'm it is it's magic sorry oh. i just looked at the chat people are talking again oh, um, okay that's such a compliment <laughs> i love it code magic wizardry <laughs> That's how yeah. I felt when I started to learn to code, to be honest. I felt like all of a sudden I was no longer a muggle. Um, did oh, you never Harry watch Potter. Harry Potter? That means nothing to you. But in Harry Potter, it's what Harry they call Potter, people who are yeah. not witches. Um, damn, I thought that I would be able to apply this and make it seem like I knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> but no, <laughs> but, I, but that, that's why I asked you to, to explain it to us, because I feel like you discovered it in your own exploration. But I imagine well, since you only did it once, you need to repeat it so that then well, we... Well, so here's, here's my suggestion then, though, because before we try and apply clamp, how do we remember last week how we applied the gradient to within the circle? Because I based my clamp application off of that. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can, for example, I'm going to move this and put your gradient on the top of this. Because so much of, of, of coding and shaders and positioning things and containing things within clear lines has to do with normalizing your pixel position in space, right? And keeping it going or, or making sure that the values you're playing with are playing within negative one and one or zero and one. And so when we used mix last week to create a gradient and we wanted to put that gradient inside the stroke, that's what made me think of using clamp because I could like force that pixel to stay within the bounds. But now I can't remember how we got it inside mm. the to begin with. Uh, yeah. yeah, so let's 
uh, that's why I'm trying now again. Okay, so what we can do here is that we can apply the gradient mm -hmm. to maybe color here. Was it something like this? Uh, but still, it's the like on no the Mario. Top. Me Magic is not here today, which is funny because I talked to him before the stream. I mean, maybe he's around, but he's not talking. Yeah, but thanks for sharing all the links. Yes, Mario is our, uh, what did you, yeah, like moderator. Yes, thank you so much. Self-proclaimed oh, moderator. Yes. And honorary always moderator, whenever he's around. Yeah, thank you so much. Because it's, it's a little bit hard to like uh, multitask, <laughs> recording, <laughs> talking, <laughs> coding, <laughs> checking the chat and looking for the links. So um, yeah, I'm still thinking again of how to apply best the gradient. Yeah, so we could. Let me go back to last week's pen and look. Yeah, go look, and I'm gonna try some things in the meantime here. I'm actually gonna put the, the gradient very, very top here because it's a color with time, and then maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stroke. What about if we use mix here with the stroke? I'm gonna make a a function for stroke. And stroke is a vector three, you say, right? Stroke. Yes. Uh, and then stroke is a. Right. No, stroke is a float. Sorry. Oh, okay. So then. Because uh, it's a step value, basically. Um, and then, okay, yeah, cool. Okay, now we are simplifying. And now from here, I was thinking uh, we added a stroke. And now, what was I was going to say? Yes, now we can do mix. C1, C2, um, stroke. Just to check that's going to color something. Again, but what I wanted is to apply the gradient instead. Mm -hmm. So I see it there. And here I can say if I don't want any color actually, so just like black. Oh, now it disappears actually. Ah, ah of course, because it has to be a vector 3, my bad. So, uh, yeah, now I got it. You got it? I mean, either if we want like a black background oh, cool. and then the gradient. Yeah, yeah. how'd you do that? So first of all, that's why I like to break like uh, chunks of functions. Code. Yes, she has uh, the cleanest code. <laughs> but the I I don't I'm I'm not, but I I I look up to. Uh, clean code and developers that do very clean code so like especially I mean, when I'm writing JavaScript and CSS yeah so I try to apply my knowledge from JavaScript and CSS um, even HTML like always try to do less and in, in, in GLSL so if I have something like j j let's just put in a functions instead of like growing something because then mm -hmm. debugging is hard mm -hmm. so now that you can't console log anything. Yeah, exactly. So, so I think it's just more readable. So I figure if we already had a float rect kind of variable, yeah, it, it made sense to make one for stroke too. Mm -hmm. And then we wanted to apply the gradient to the stroke. So that means that we needed to use mix. And in mix, you have always three values, and the last value is interpolation, kind of like where it crosses what you want to do, and Smart. normally is the geometry. So in this yeah. sense, it was the stroke. We wanted to apply it to apply it to the stroke, so that would be the interpolation where we want the gradient to. Be. Yeah. And then one of the two values are the values that you want to interpolate, and one of them was the gradient, which is the mix that you created up here. Yeah. And the other one. Um, is like the mean. other color that you want to mix with that gradient, right? Mm. So we could have taken one of the colors that we already predefined, like C1. But I think a color with a gradient is just for the eyes, maybe, I don't know. So I was like, okay, let's just do black or white. 
and that's why I created this big three with zero zero which is basically a black because I wanted to have a, a black um, background instead of like this purple but now it's not hold on it takes a second for code pen to digest that yeah, there. and that's how my brain works I don't know if that uh, that works. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think that, that. Wait, if I do, if I want the background to be white, do I just do one minus gradient? Uh, no. No, that just makes the colors lighter. The gradients, yeah. It's we? here. It's here. Like you see the first value. Oh right. Okay. Um, for example, yeah. I can break the one mix in three lines, and then so here. I'm gonna comment here it would be your background so there you can try to change it there like instead of zero zero like just thing in RGB so that would be one and then it's gonna be white or if you want like any color that's where you will tweak that then the other one it's basically what we name it the gradient and the other one is like the this would be like the shape where you want for interpolation we don't, I think we, okay, so I think that unless we make it, unless we add noise, we won't actually get the overlap because like we don't, I don't know if on your big screen right now you see any color outside the stroke, but I don't. Oh, let me, let me I don't think check. we actually need clamp right now. <laughs> I will check, but uh, no, I think you, there's no, what you just did there's no, the number. there's no, there's yeah. no, Gradient outside the, <laughs> there's nothingness. That's so interesting. Okay, do we want to add noise and see if that creates an overlap? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna, I need to run. Yeah, I realize now that we don't need to use clamp because we fear how to add the gradient in the stroke. I suppose last week we were trying it and we couldn't, so then. But I think that that's because of the noise. I'm like, that's that's my intuition oh, telling me that that's okay. the noise and then we can use clamp. But I just need to, I'll be back in two seconds. I'm putting yeah. my mic down. Go, go. Uh, yeah, nobody's saying anything, so <laughs> I'm glad that you like my thinking. I just discovered that, by the way, Mario. <laughs> As we were trying to explain how to put the grading in the, uh, in the stroke. But uh, I like this discovery, then I can use it in my uh, shaders experiment now. Uh, what else? I think we want to bring the weekly function that um, Mimetic, who's not here today, helped us uh, write the last time. So I'm going to bring it in so that we can make this. Um, or, ah, because we mentioned noise. Mm, we can try both, I guess. I'm going to bring both functions. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna bring first the noise. I'm gonna delete the circle one because we're not using that function for now. And then bring this random function. Yeah, there it is. And I'm gonna bring the wiggly. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So, wiggly. So, maybe I will try to first use. No, oh, wait a second, something is broken. Why? When I brought the wiggly function, something broke. What? Up. Oh, P, I mean pi in English. I need pi. Ah. Let's put it at the top. Yeah. So the wiggly function that uh, Mimetic helped us uh, create the last time uses pi. So and we like to define pi here at the top. It's here, somewhere in the function, as you see. And uh, now 
yeah, we're gonna play and try to apply either noise or wiggly. The noise function, by the way, we got from a gist from Patricio. Uh, I'm gonna show that in the screen because it's a very good gist. Um, I saved it. I think it. it's called a gist. Is it a ah, gist? gist? It okay, gist? yes. Please like help me because, gist. of course. Because gist in English is like, do you get the gist of what I'm saying? It's like, do you understand what I mean? So I think that that's what a gist oh, is. Oh, is that what... Uh, you see, this is another word I don't know. I'm not familiar with. And since I, I'm not familiar, I pronounce it probably like as... I mean, my native I mean, language is Spanish. So yeah. I take it as oh, a, in hard, Spanish, yeah. it would be like uh, gay. So but it's like gif and gif. If no one tells you, you'll never know. But you said that gist is a word. Now I say it, it right, is a word. right? Yeah, yeah. It's a word that you so, use like in just conversations without like uh, programming related. So Yeah, yeah. You say it all the okay. time. Like I get the gist of it sort of, but I'm not sure that I understand oh, okay. everything. Okay, so you get cool. the overall idea. Excuse I like me, I'm this. gonna eat some cereal. I get to learn <laughs> English as well. <laughs> which I like. Uh, I always I, I when I started learning to code, it did occur to me that code is code, so not English, but mm -hmm. so many of the functions are English words. And I was always like, it must be really hard for non English speakers to wrap their I mean, I don't know wrap their minds around certain of the concepts that are like explained in English, which seems unfair because code language is like not English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but I think if you don't speak well English, like uh, let's say, yeah, yeah, that for, for example, if I wouldn't speak well English, I think it would be harder to grasp mm -hmm. a lot of the, because the programming language is kind of like in English. So, so of, of course it makes it easier as a non-native English speaker to like learn English so that it makes more sense a lot of the stuff I must say. I mean I've definitely come across GitHub repos with like Polish function words and like comments and I don't know Italian or whatever but generally mm. speaking I've seen mostly English. Um, I just okay. uh, j shared the, the gist link from Patricia where we took the noise just cool. in case somebody yeah. is curious, like you can take even more um, like pre prepare functions um, for this, uh, yeah, things that you wanna maybe add into your shader and you don't have to think about the mat. Um, yeah, pre what is What is Char? Does, I don't know if you guys know Char. I mean, you must know Char. She's like the godmother of shaders and she calls them sticker packs, which I love. Remind me of my childhood. Ah, right. Like take a sticker and you move it over. Yeah, that's true. Like, like yeah, like in, in the chats, like you know, I guess in Telegram or mm -hmm. Signal. Yeah, true. That it's called sticker. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice way to see them too. <laughs> okay, so I see that you brought in Wiggly, and I brought Noise too because I fear maybe we can try like I don't know both of them somewhere yeah. in here. Um, maybe I'm gonna try in this stroke function see if there's some effect uh, in you say the f the the second value of the stroke what was it is that the thickness or the second value of stroke is the size and the, the third is the thickness the width is the thickness yeah okay that's the one i want to like i'm gonna as usual just comment so i don't if we need to go back and here I wanna uh, do, um, I think, no, what is it called? It's called noise. Oh, I was gonna say random, but noise, I'm not in. So probably it's not gonna do much, I assume. Oh, my very thing, wow. <laughs> but if I do plus, um due time oh so thin hm. yeah it's gonna be growing i assume Ooh. yeah forever yeah. oh right oh, this yeah. is yes yeah, this was the beginning of our confusion last week where we were like wait a minute yeah to play with noise play with noise so how did okay. we apply it last week this is where our math and magician mimetic who is not here today i don't think um Ooh, helped us a lot and uh how did we do it i think I'm just playing to see what we can do by applying noise to like the different values, you know, so 
and normally you know okay. it's with time so that you get this animation effect mm -hmm. um, I wonder um, if I do scene it seems that there's already a scene there I need to break this function so that Mm, oh, I think one of the things that I remember that was very important to making the outline wiggly last week, adding noise to it, was that we moved the functions we were playing with out of the main function and brought them into the shape function. Mm. But I, I haven't added the wiggly function yet. No, no, I know, but oh, like okay. noise too, I think it's the same. I think that mm. right now, because you're applying noise here, mm -hmm. uh, what you need to I think we need to do it inside the rect. So if we bring it, bring noise up and use it somewhere in the, in, in, I don't know if you're following my mouse right now, but like in the max area. So like in, in um, last week's pen. Oh, in your function here. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Do you want me to apply it? Or yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, no, I just wanted to try to apply it to the stroke. That way, it, it was different. Let but me go add and do something there. Let me add. Where's my mouse right now? Here it is. Plus, rand. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to put. What did I put last week? Um. But it's not called rand, by the way. It's called noise or ah oh no, no it's run we have run too yeah sorry yeah we, we do have the run should start super simple and mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. nothing happens in time did i break it i don't know what wait or was it already broken oh yeah okay that's why plus rand i added um ah the semicolon yeah the semicolon Okay. <laughs> okay, so that sort of does something. Just change the shape of the rectangle. Yeah, so if I do... It's going to change the shape. It'll just constantly change the shape. Mm. Right, okay. And do you remember we kind of got here last week? And then mm -hmm. this is Rand, and then, and then... What did we do? Hold on, I'm going to put noise instead. Yeah. I because that one was smoother, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the other one is just too crazy, that's why this one is kind of nicer. So it goes. So, noise, for everybody um, watching, is, is like a, a function that actually uses rand. I don't know if you can see the function on the screen right now, but I, I like commented that it was Perlin ish because it uses the rand function just above it, which is one dimensional random numbers basically being generated and it kind of like combines them together and makes a much more smooth kind of still noisy, like still mm -hmm. random, but way more like fluid animation. Mm -hmm. So we took that and we applied it to the rect. I feel like I kind of like it and then we can add something else. I think I think I need to move it though. I think I'm not using it in the right oh, no. place. I Can like I just, it, but try try like, try something. Sorry else. sorry. Did you have an idea? You were on. You had an idea. No no no. But try try your idea first. So then mm. then I, I I can say if I still I like this one more. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Perfect. I think I need, I think we need to add it to like the. Or, no, that's the size. Sorry, it's still not yeah, the right place. Yeah, that didn't do anything actually. Just like um, I think I need to add it here. Mm -hmm. Oh, still not. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm maybe out of ideas. That's how we. <laughs> that's how we did it with the circle. We added it to the UV. Yeah, but I so guess it's a different geometry, so that's why probably. It will not be like the same effect. No, of course. Since yeah. we have a, I assume. Mm -hmm. But if okay, you I'm leave it where it here. was, I kind of like this yeah. thing. This feels closer than what I just did. Mm. You know? Mm hmm. Because I like that it's changing. It's a little bit slower. So. 
25 I just wanted it not to disappear so that's why I added this like little floating number but it's disappearing 25 maybe 3 Thank you, El Suso Lars. I'm just going to call you Lars because I have an easier time pronouncing that. Thank you for coming, though. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, there, there will be a replay up if you want to continue to watch us. I'm terrible at promoting the replays, but they're, they're always up. Yeah, like, we're on YouTube if you want to watch. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the final piece that we might end up doing today. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Enjoy the sun, by the way, because mm -hmm. it's really nice in Hamburg. I feel like it's yeah i like that actually for the most part everyone that i know lives in like a, di a, a diagonal line from me so if it's mm -hmm. nice where you are then it's generally speaking nice where my friends in holland are which means that it's kind of nice maybe a little less cold here mm -hmm. you know because it just goes down ah, okay kind of like a wave of a wave of weather um mario suggests using noise with the length of the uv times the four that you already have so he suggests adding oh, but okay. if you still if you still have an idea then yeah ahead. i'm exploring adding it in another place that's the thing <laughs> i wanted to add no no, no no worries, places. worries i didn't see your, your cursor move cool okay so you're adding it inside the stroke i'm just still like Ooh. it's just i wanted to see like what the stroke does Ooh. that is way that's too thin and now I actually I, I will try to add it to the size of it. See what happens here. Mm. Do you mind if I reheat my coffee while you No, not at all. Okay. Sorry, be right back. Yeah. I'm just playing and see which effect I I like most. Um, I will try your suggestion, Mario, soon. What if you use noise language? Yeah. Ooh, I like this. Uh, okay, it's small, then it's big. Small, big, but let's have it for starts kind of like so. So that it's not so small. It is small. Why? By the way, where do you mean using the noise lang you B U B Mario? Like in the uh, rec function or where exactly do you mean that I mean since you're suggesting it? <laughs> I wonder where do you mean that we apply this uh, UV length exactly because there are so many spots where it could be applied. Um, maybe not so. There we are. Still. No, I don't like it. I'm gonna go back to to what we had, which was point one here, point one uh, in the rec function. In the rec function, mm -mm 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 -mm. okay. So maybe here where I was, I'm going to try to apply it here with a plus, well maybe without a plus. Uh, I'm going to copy paste what... -da -da. Let's try that. Mm. Oops, voice. <laughs> noise link, uh, we declared the UV via UV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, interesting. Morphine shape. I see, I see, I see. What does Lang exactly does, Mario? 
I feel like the length function is the one that people use to create circles. I always use um, the distance function, but I know that most people use that. So I'm going to go to the Book of Shaders glossary to see. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, it was smart suggestion. So Well done. But I'm trying to understand. So the length function calculates the length of a vector of a vector no that so doesn't fucking length... tells me anything <laughs> the length of the length of the vector it the works of the, the whole same. vector so that from from the origin from the point of origin to the end right but where's our point of origin is the top right or the center point mm. where is the zero zero right now the way that we set it up with the resolution Mm -hmm. is in the middle of the screen no mm -hmm. so that's that's the length that you're getting back that you're timesing and adding to time you're getting from the middle of the screen to wherever the pixel color is okay. of that uv so i'm gonna try for example a vector 2 of 5 points i mean 1.0 and 0 just like instead of the mm. uv and it doesn't mm. do anything because, of course, who knows how big is the UV that I have right now. Okay. Mm. So How big? Well, it depends on the location, right? Because it's a pixel. We put in a position, we get back a color. Mm. So you're and basically getting... That's why That's why it waves and shifts, because based on... Ooh. Ooh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, and wait, I guess if I now. throw in the UV Y, it's going to be like the opposite way. Yeah. Ah, nice. Thank you, Mario. I, think I get it. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but oh, so cool. No, it's Thank cool. You, it's cool. Very cool uh, idea to work with the function, Mario. By the way, because mm -mm. <laughs> it has, it reminds me like if you were using the vertex, if you were like um, tweaking the, the vertex, you would get this kind of like effect, and. Mm. We should master the thing because, yeah, and, and it's kind of like it feels like we're using the vertex, but we're not, which I like about this effect actually that uh, with length hmm. that we're not using sine or cosine. Uh, no, no, I was I, I was saying that the effect looks very like vertex C, it does in, in a way. No, so oh, it's so satisfying. Okay, so but wait, N noise, what if we do. So you're saying wherever UVX is in relation to the middle of the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So then if we do Y, it should be doing this the same thing, but cool. Yeah. That part. Yeah. I, I tried when you were gone. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. My bad. No, no. Try. So uh, that's why I was cool. tweaking it. Eight, so length makes so much more sense to me now. Now I always forget. It's like, cause whenever I was using length before I was like, but the length of what? Like, where's the beginning and end of mm -hmm. a vector that could be in any position on your screen, but it's always in relation to the center, or sorry, to the zero, zero point, Ooh, which you can position we... in the center, mm -hmm. which we did, I think, but yes. normally you find it in the top left. Mm -hmm. um, Mario, so sign length, you, oh, you want to sign the length? Oh, I'm signing the UV, actually, so to make a kind of like a curve. He, he wrapped the... He was suggesting to wrap to wrap the length this whole function in sign. Yeah, you could. You want to try? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna remove this other one sign because it didn't make what I wanted it to make anyway. Mm -hmm. I think you have an extra uh, <laughs> parenthesis. Tuning bracket. Or bracket. you hold on. Yeah, that I don't think we need. That. and then that. hold on a second no okay. yeah. Um. yeah yeah got it and then sign so we need three here oh yeah mm -hmm. or it doesn't make yeah. oh, okay a little same. bit different here. Ah, okay mm-hmm does that make a difference? Mm. I mean, sign, applying sign anyways is just a cycle. Yeah. I don't know that I see a super Me big neither. difference. So I just, 
I mean, it was good to try, but uh, I think we don't need it in this sense. It was just without it, okay. Yeah, it seems pretty much the same to me. I mean, the movement is a bit different, but mm. okay. So I wonder if if, it, if we applied it to time, because we don't have sign here. Um, if the loop is gonna be like smaller or something, oh, half the loop. <laughs> I actually like the other one more, but this is interesting. Um, I wonder how we apply it to the outline. What? I, I wonder how we, I mean, I guess I, yeah, I wonder how we apply it to the outline. I guess this, I still think that the noise would have to apply it in here somewhere. If I did like... Um, Mm. You want to? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Mario, that you were just suggesting. We try it. So, uh, as you see, I think we both like just to try stuff until we see something that we like. So, it's fine. <laughs> Where are you? How did you do that? I wrap, I wrap the output of rect into. Oh, you're up here. Noise. Okay. Oh, or okay. into rand. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna apply noise because it's smoother. Yes, apply noise. Ooh, cool. I Interesting. like it. Interesting. What is happening here? I wonder if we can make it smaller mm -hmm. so we can see it better. Where's the size of the thing? Hold it's on. Here. I'm gonna break it so I can read it better. There we go. Mm -hmm. I made it a little smaller in the rect function. I reduced it. That's so cool. I'm into this. Where did you make it smaller? In um, just below gradient, the rect function. Let I me go uh, down it, so that we see. Where, oh, Can sorry. you put what we had? Because I yeah, was up. We had, we had 75. Mm -hmm. And so we couldn't really see. Oh, exactly. So like, I wonder what, what's going on. So that in the rect function is the S value. It's the size yeah, value. Perfect. I like it. So I like it now. Ooh, yes. Even, even smaller if I wanted mm -hmm. to. What kind of pattern do we have on the screen right now? Like, what if I make it really tiny? Is it like a? It's like a yeah, portal. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. So, I mean, it's cool. It's cool, but I prefer the other one that is not so small. Yeah, it okay. feels like acid. The somehow. one. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's, it's got this like. It's got this almost hand drawn vibe. Yeah, to it. exactly. I like that one. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. For some reason, I it love reminds it. me of Beetlejuice. I don't know why that came into my head. Yeah, Can Beetlejuice too. Show? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got a Beetlejuice vibe. It's so Which random. I didn't even way, like that show. Let me change scary. the background to black. I think it's gonna be more interesting. So. <gasps> mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. but wait. What's going on with the gradient? What do Suddenly, you mean? The gradient is still there. Look, it's it, changing from yeah. green to. It's still there. But is there a way to make it like? uh the way that we did last week where you, there was like a cat like you could see the gradient i guess the gradient wasn't animated no this is fine forget what i said hold on let me go up because i still wanted to see how you apply noise i'm i'm a little bit up Just, yeah so um, if you keep going up see. you'll see i put noise i wrapped the whole output of of the rect function yeah in. cool i just wanted to come back and and see this um, wait a second. Where is so interesting though because the color hasn't bled out or over at no. all, and I think that that Wait, is makes... because the way we implemented it means that the colors are changing in a gradient style, but that we don't actually see a gradient over the stroke. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no. Uh, again, sorry, I was like still tweaking something. up up I'm going so, down. Yeah. Tell me. Last week when we applied a gradient to the circle, mm -hmm. we made it so that no matter what, you could see the full gradient at all times in the stroke circle. Ah, oh, that's what you mean that right now is changing the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is thing. probably because we're using mix right now and mixes um, takes like the whole screen in a way. So I think maybe if we try to apply this clamp thing, but no, I think, I think, Let so me look at the one from last week. This, this is here. I'm going to put, where are you? 
on the screen right now. I'm going to put it right above frag color just so you can see how we did it last week. Mm -hmm. I think that that's how we got the gradient in was by using mix, like you say, mm -hmm. and then adding circle on the outside. I don't know, but it might be too complicated. I really like what we have right now. I like how it is, kind of. Mm. that it's like one o'clock as well <laughs> um, but yeah. I might try and play around with it in my own time because I think that that's why you would would in theory need clamp because if you are using well we don't need to talk about it now if we're not going to apply it yeah but, but yeah. you can try applying clamp I don't mind if you want to but I don't it. think it'll do anything right now that's what I mean so like if if I did color mix c2 plus rect Yeah. Oh, hmm. mm, interesting. Uh, you just added a layer to the background, you know? Yeah. So, if, I, is... if I comment, oh, wait, if I comment that out for a sec, mm -hmm. do you get, it kind of looks like underwater. Okay. So here we have a gradient mm -hmm. wreck, but I honestly, I kind of like the layer. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it, but I don't mind that. And you just added the length here, what if right? I yeah, what if I use stroke mm. like that? Oh no, that doesn't. Well, I mean, that's also cute. This one's not it's ugly. Interesting, interesting. <gasps> I like it too. Mm. Gradient? Mm hmm. I'm also I like into more just what, what you had before, it was nicer somehow. But uh, was it the right? Just right. Yeah, with the. What like, happens if you put like, the stroke? If I put the stroke, then it's more gradient background. Which is also cute. I'm, I'm not against that I like that at this all. one somehow. What if I do one minus? Is that going to flip it? Yeah, I think so. So then we're going to have the... Oh, no, I like the other way better. Um, I like both. <laughs> I think nice. if I could have the other background on Which the other white, background? This background I'm going to change now. If I could have this gradient, but with white instead of black, I'd be into it. But see here, oh, okay, okay, wait. Mm. See, the black outline, it changes color, it gets green. So maybe this is where I can apply clamp. Mm. Um, I think that that's where I do it. Let me look at my pen. Not last week's pen, but the one that mm. I used. So uh, just make sure. I'm talking about oh, this. How would I clamp that? So then I would take... Plus mm. clamp. I see. And what am I clamping now? I'm clamping color. And then the two values yeah. that you want. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. But somehow it's broken. Why? Oh, there we are. Mm. Somehow it's broken. Do you see something? No, I did for a second. When yeah, I had me it too. just like this. It was neon. And then... Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay, see, okay, okay, I like that. I'm okay. into that. Hold Does on. that make sense? Because the white now is not, is not changing. Let me... I'm, I'm removing this to see what actually ha we had. Okay, so we had white and we had that kind of like you gradient see the in the background it. It gets, but the white is changing it. as well yeah, yeah. exactly so, so here, and now if we added clamp it's gonna stay pure white the whole time it's gonna stay pure white the, the background pretty. stays as well more neonish yeah. and yeah and hold on let That's me so pretty. if we put one here i just wonder you know so all white oh, wait. oh I if we can okay. Then, okay 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 or like if you wanted it to be 0.5. It's gonna be more white. Be really like, bright. Ooh, more yeah. pastel. Okay. Cool. I like the other one more. The neon. <laughs> negative one. Negative one, it makes it darker. Yeah, I think zero was cool. I like zero Here somehow. And now can we try in the second value? I wonder if we do zero. Is it gonna be more darker? Black. Yeah. yeah it'll be darker. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Ah, I see. I see. And now. And it gets bled over more. So mm -hmm. cool. I'm. I'm glad that we ended up being able to apply yeah. clamp. I almost chickened out and got too nervous. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't want it to, but I really wanted to understand it. 
It's um, so, I really love the pattern that we made. Yeah. I love noise. It and always does weird, funny things. things. Okay, okay. So it's Random better to just keep effects. adding to it. So I was just like, I have to bring it back. But I really like what we have. Mm. Like this session, I really like like the final result a I lot. That. Can I try one more thing? What if I do abs sign? I don't even know if I need to do abs with, sign, with time, but I'm curious. Whoa. What well, that's just going to change the opacity, it? you know, because we said, had like one. So. But the white still stays. Yeah, because the white was the right. other, uh, wasn't it? Like the zero? The, the, this value no. affects the white. Zero black, no? Yeah, that, that affects the whiteness. Oh, oh, I mean, everything. Right. So. Interesting. Oh, right, because that's the, yeah, you're clamping it between zero mm. and one. So it's just one. What if I just use with no abs? So I think without an abs. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to like start playing with it again as <laughs> ever, <laughs> including. Um, and, yeah, see, so you need to have that absolute value that, that keeps it above zero. That was interesting though, that it changes completely like. Yeah, well, it cancels out the clamp. Mm. So interesting. Anyways, when it's just I don't know. Like Do we need it? Cool. Do we need that? I don't think we need it. No, I like more like just the one, but it was interesting to see. I like how it was striking negativity. Mm, cool. Yeah, but it's and funny, now... you know, you can clamp it. You can clamp it between zero and negative one mm. if you want, which would yeah. make it definitely bleed over. But so fun. Okay. Um, I just want to test one more thing. I'm trying to make it smaller for a second. Yeah. Just to see. So okay, cool. It looks it looks, cool it looks like a like I, I just like that it looks like acid. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, what if I want to rotate, like, this whole rect a little bit, a little bit, can we, like, to rotate, multiply this against P, pi, I mean, or, like, plus, wait a second, if I want to rotate it, would that be sinus? Oh, um, we got lots of hearts from Nerd Disco. Thank you. Um, yeah, cool. And Mario was suggesting an alternate to using abs, but we were just playing. We were just playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Do you know how to rotate, Mario? Because I wanted to rotate, you know, like the whole thing I'm trying to think of a function. Don't you usually use fract for that? This is cute, though. I like that. To it's rotate? like going in and out of focus. Oh, sorry. Because I think this pattern that we have, would look cool if it's like rotating like this yeah totally uh um, hold on i don't know my guest uh mario has a guess i just i'm sorry because <laughs> pi pi is rotation isn't it it's just to rotate. I, did that. I did i did make rotating cubes the other day yeah I can you check videos. because i somehow Thank think you. that maybe it's related to use somehow pi with time Mm, so. Oh yeah, definitely you use pi, wave, um, oh I used a, a function called rotate, I can show ah, you, ah okay, can you bring the function in if it's small? yeah, it's not huge, it's, I'm going to put it right above the main so that you can see, yeah. oops, I missed part of it, um, because yeah. I think I used it as well in one of my when I was doing ray marching, but I use the function yeah. too. But you put, you send in the UV, yeah. then you give yeah. it an angle to rotate on, which Yay. is the time. Yeah. You can use it time. Okay, I want to try it's that. It's pretty handy. What did I do? I did rotate UV pi plus U time. And then I added, this is what I did. Where are you? Here. Is the um, angle oh, yeah. a floating number? Yes, no? So for example, pi, did you yeah. use pi? I use pi times plus u time. Wait, it's broken for me. But, but here, I'm just going to paste as a comment how I implemented it mm -hmm. here so that you can see. I separated it. I was thinking, how would Alicia do it? She would organize her code. <laughs> so I made a rotation uh, vector okay, two. That's and then I have it. it is rotation because it takes in the u. Oh, the problem is this. It's a vector two, so mm, 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 I can, of course, apply it to the reg because that's a floating number. So that means that 
What if you... Um, um, how can, can I, we... Can I try something? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to subtract that. Mm -hmm. We still have a cube. Is there one bracket too many? Okay, and then see it right above here, I said rotation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, equals mm -hmm. this thingy. Right and then the I just say UV equals rotation. And ah, okay, okay. Everything. Yes, ah. okay. Yay, great. Ah. Yeah, because I was wondering how you applied the vector to, to it, but then you, yeah, you rotate the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah I love it. I this is care exactly of all the details. I, I just, I'm just like, it takes already the UV anyway, so just what do I care? A little bit slower. So. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Mario. I can't believe we thought, I, I, that's awesome. We thought of the same, we had the same idea. Yeah, I, I like think it's the same function, function that is in this gist, you know, so. Yay. I wonder oh, I really if like, like you do it very okay. fast, <laughs> like very hypn hypn oh. hypnotizing. <laughs> it's kind of funny because it moves so quickly that it, it almost feels like there's more layers for me. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do it because have you like seen one of those spinning wheels that they have some shapes yeah. and then if you spin it really fast, then you start seeing other patterns. <laughs> to, awesome. That's why I wanted to try the rotation thing because it know, works. So for me, this is not this is not so like as crazy as like flashing, you know? Yeah, like spinning, yeah. Spinning rotation is, more, like, is a little bit like mild to the eyes. I mean, that's why they do these spinning wheels. But yeah, now yeah. I really like it. Oh my god, I don't even want to tweak this one anymore. If you add that to the angle, it will kind of twist. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, sorry, you just said you were done. Angle? You don't want it to tweak it anymore, you said. Yeah. Um, what do you mean if you add... But we, we are in the angle right now. Pi plus time is the angle, so I don't know what you mean. Is there another mean. angle somewhere? Rotate, rotate... I don't know. But I'm because this is the angle like in the function. The second value is the angle, so I don't know what you have Sign to explain yourself, Mario. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mario? Where are you? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, he means sinus. Here. Ah, to add just sinus here, I guess. And the. Uh, oh right. Okay. I think we need one more bracket. Yeah. And it'll make it wiggly. Do, 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 probably, he I says. Know. Uh, I feel like it cancels out the. I mean, yeah, yeah it's a twist, but then it doesn't. I like that it. Whoops. Yeah. I like Let, let's just go back. Twist. I'm afraid we're gonna stay as as it is, Mario, because we liked. Um, yeah. You can just go back. Oh, I think I have to go back. Yeah. Funny, because when I'm trying to do Apple Z or Control Z, I realize I can't undo what you type. I can only. Yeah, do yeah, what I, I realize that too. So hold on a second, because I think it's. Break it. Why is it broken? Is there? An extra. Maybe here? I think there's an extra, yeah. I think that's it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, just, I love it. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> and I love the gradient. These colors are like my favorite colors. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Ah. I love them. So, And I love that it looks like trippy acid, <laughs> like melting. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, it's not like bleeding my eyes out, you know? Because no, when exactly. I see these trippy things, the ones that yeah. like bleed my eyes, like I cannot really stare at them for too mm -hmm. long. But this one, I feel like, okay, I could totally stare at this for like longer. I'm gonna make it bigger so that we can watch it like, oh, it's really cool. Yeah. I love it. So I'm, I'm really, really happy about all of the learnings today. So yeah. especially like the use of clamp mm -hmm. and the different ways that we did the outlines was cool. Yeah. To finally Definitely. edit and then uh, even using length not with a circle I guess that in my brain it was like okay length to create a circle and like what does it actually mean that was a nice tip Mario thank you yeah. because yeah now I can think of using length even if I'm not having a circle um, just to have some effect that comes from the outside of the UV to the where you have the point totally in our case the center um, the origin I mean I really love mm -hmm. it. It's so good. Yeah, me too. I love it. I'm happy. Well done, mm -hmm. us. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I was like, when we got stuck earlier, I was like, oh no, we, we forget everything that we've learned. But no, I think we're good. <laughs> I think it's normal, honestly. So. Of course. No, no, of course. Especially if we don't practice the thing, like, often. 
we only no. tried once so of course we yeah. were gonna get stuck but it was cool to kind of re revisit it so mm -hmm. that hopefully it stays more in our brains and we can use it in our own experiments definitely i think this week i'll probably play around with making try to make the edges wiggly too mm -hmm. i don't know it's curious mm -hmm. what happen. but i really love it it feels like um uh there's this book by aldous huxley called like doorways to perception or something like that and okay. the cover of the book kind of looks like this yeah this like... i'm just staring at, at it as we're <laughs> speaking because i really like it like i really like what we uh yeah thank you h that just um, because other sessions i felt in the end that we didn't achieve visually what i expected something more but then we ran out of time uh, but this time it was cool that we came up with something cool uh, yeah and it doesn't feel like specifically i don't know you know how certain types of coding or frameworks or whatever they, ha they can have a specific aesthetic this feels almost like it could be anything it could be because mm. like it almost feels like hand drawn you know it doesn't feel um yeah. i don't know i get a watery vibe like a pool of water but there's a square mm. instead of a circle or paint mm. yeah oh totally mm. yes which I love. Cool, cool. cool. We did this in good time. Only yeah, 30. I'm glad so we can still go out and enjoy the sun. Because totally. it's spring, by the way. I don't know if in every country it's like that, but it seems that in France and in Germany it's like spring came early, <laughs> at least. I don't know how long and if it's going to stay like only for a week or something and then no. it's going to get cold, but uh, I'm just going to enjoy it while it lasts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go find a big open space that I can walk around in and take my mask off because mm. I love when the air is like just not hot, but not cold. Mm. Yeah. And here, I think on Wednesday, it's supposed to be like 18 degrees. So it blows Tomorrow my mind. Tomorrow here, it's supposed to be 17. Oh, okay. So I take that as, a, as like a gift. Yeah. A gift from the universe. Wow. Some warm weather on my birthday. Yeah. Because with 20 degrees, you can only be in t-shirt, I feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably people in America, like uh, back home, like in Mexico, that wouldn't be like a t-shirt weather at all. <laughs> but in here it is after being so yeah. cold. I love, but that's why I like winter because it makes hot weather, yeah. Even just like a little bit warm is already hot, so it's perfect. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, yay, I'm glad you guys like it. Everyone seems to, to be happy with what we made. Yeah, and thanks yeah. For, for being here and staying yeah. with us or just coming and stopping by. And I yeah. feel like there was more people, but there was, uh, they were very quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but I hope that you enjoyed the stream. Yeah. And we'll be back, we'll be back in, not next week, but the week after for another one probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, in about two weeks. So should we say goodbye now? Mm -hmm. Have a good day guys. Mario, you can go back to bed now. <laughs> yeah, go to bed Mario. Sleep a little bit longer. Seven, I think it's 7.30 for you. No, it's got to be earlier than that. I'm, I, I'm I looking don't remember at because he's in the LA. west coast of Mexico. So I think it's much, yeah, kind of like California time almost. Oh, it's, so it's like four in the morning. Five. Okay, so it's an hour mm, earlier okay. for you than in Yeah, LA. it's quite early. Yeah, I just go to bed again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for waking up and being here with us a little bit today. That was fun. I, I'm really impressed, to be honest, that you can think so much about shaders at 5, 4 in the morning. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too, because uh, I probably would be half awake. Yeah. <laughs> My brain's still sleeping. Totally. So, that's cool. Well, have a, good, yeah. have a good weekend, everybody, and see you all soon. Yeah. With your next app, I should look at the screen. Bye, everybody. Happy weekend. Mm -hmm.